Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny. If you want to see how I made this planner's box, then keep on watching and I'll show you. Okay, you're going to need five of the Go Your Own Way signs from the Dollar Tree, a glue gun, glue sticks, needle nose pliers, and some scissors, and your choice of paint, and a foam paintbrush, and a bristle paintbrush. Okay, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to clip all the yarn off. You're going to take your needle nose pliers and pull out all the nails. Be sure you pull upright and not sideways because the wood will split. Next, you're going to lay all five of your boards out on a piece of cardboard or a tarp. You're going to take your choice of paint. I'm just going to use this eggshell paint, which I got at Walmart for under $3. You're going to take some of your foam brushes. Okay, now you're going to take your base coat of your choice. You're going to take one of your foam brushes and you're going to paint all your boards. Be sure you paint in between all the creases, the sides, top, and bottom. You don't need to do the back, but once you get all your paint on, be sure you take your paintbrush, as you will see towards the end of this clip. I'm going to be going all the same way, so the paint and the grooves, I guess you can say, of the wood is going to be all going the same way instead of up, down, sideways, swirly marks. So just be sure you do that with all your boards and let them dry for at least an hour or so. Now this part is optional. You can do an accent color. I'm just going to use this brownish color and you're going to take a little foam brush and a bristle brush and you're just gonna dab some on to your foam brush and you're just gonna go the same way as the grooves are in the wood just to make an accent so it looks more like um, wood, I guess you can say. You might have to do a couple of coats of this because the um, letters will probably show through, but it's your choice. You can even just leave it plain white or if you do just plain brown, like I said, this is optional. But if you're gonna do this, be sure you do inside the grooves and try to do some of the sides so it all blends in well. After you get to the color that you want, you're gonna take your bristle brush and you're going to paint over that as well with a plain dry brush just to get some um, more texture to the wood. Okay, after all your boards are dry, you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to glue them all together. Um, now you can decorate the outsides if you want if you wanted to do stencils or letters or put um, twine or burlap or anything like that you can decorate your boxes but i'm just going to do a plain jane box just to get it done over with um, the, i use the glue gun because it dries fast but you can always use super glue or you know whatever stronger glue you want um, so that's all you're going to do you can use it as a planner's box. You can use it to put some toys in, um, put remotes in. You know, you can use it for whatever. Um, you don't even have to put a bottom on if you don't want to, but I chose to, and I'm choosing to put the wood grain side up. So if I decide to take my flowers out, when you look down in there, you're not seeing just the plain cardboard. Or I shouldn't say cardboard, the wood. Um, you can paint the inside if you like, but I just wanted to get this this DIY done. I did a lot of them over the weekend, so my patients were running dry. So after you get the last board on, you might it might be a tight fit, so just be patient with that. Add a little bit of glue on each side, and you're gonna just um, slide it on in there. And voila, there's your box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. I thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, keep smiling.